نحمد و نسلی و نسلم علی رسول الکریم اما بعد در فیمس حدیث آف رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم انم الاعمال بالنیات ایکشنز آر جج بائی انٹینشن دس حدیث از سو فیمس دیٹ موسٹ مسلمز نو اٹ اینڈ دس ہیز بین کلیکٹڈ بائی سو مینی ڈفرنٹ امام دس از ون آف دا کور اینڈ ایسینشیلز آف اسلامک ٹیچنگ that our actions should have a very good and pure intention behind them. Sayyidina Umar who narrated this one. This hadith is in Sahih al-Bukhari. Actually, it came in five different places in Sahih al-Bukhari. It's like different in, in the wording exactly. Very mild difference in the, in the wordings. But anyway, the hadith is sound, and mashallah, despite it being gharib in one way. Now, the hadith tells us that the actions are judged by intention. And there's different interpretation of this. Number one, is it that the actions are valid only with the intention? Or is it that the actions are rewarded with the intention? Now obviously if the action has bad intention behind it, then the ex- that action is not going to be rewarded, that's clear. Rather, one may get punished for it. So Imam Abu Hanifa rahmatullahi would say that the actions are rewarded if there is a good intention or if there is an intention. There has to be good intention. You are doing wudu, for example, for prayer. So you will get rewarded. When well, you're just doing wudu, washing those four parts of the body with the, without any intention to pray after that or to recite Quran or to do tawaf, circumambulation around Kaaba. Rather, you just wash yourself. Or you just had a quick dip in the swimming pool. Are these actions, all those like washing the whole limbs, does it make your wudu valid or not? Imam Shafi rahmatullahi says that the actions are only validated with intention. If there's no intention, then there is no action. Means action is null and void. Imam Abu Hanifa rahmatullah says that if the actions are done without intention, then there's no reward. So if you just happen to get wet with rainwater or uh, by immersing in the river or the pond, then you actually got your wudu done because all the integral essentials are found now, but you are not rewarded because actions are only rewarded with intentions since you never had intention of doing wudu in order to be able to perform for prayer or nafil prayer or tawaf or the different things then you are not going to be rewarded for that but your wudu is still done and you are in the state of purity or purification then if you wanted to pray afterwards you can still pray with that wudu because that wudu is valid you do not need to have intention so but you are not going to be rewarded for the wudu itself because wudu was done without the intention so that's the difference between imams imam shafi would say rahmatullah that the action is null and void there's no way that your action is done, your wudu is not done. You have to have the intention. And obviously when they say intention both sides, it means good intention to do something good. So that is a well-known difference between the understanding. Imam Abu Hanifa would say, uh, you know, uh, or, or the Hanafis would say, for example, if I did not intend to kill someone accidentally, I just was cleaning my gun and then it just the bullet came off accidentally and it just wandered somewhere and 
hit my brother, for example, who was cleaning something else in the house, or if the army, two army men in the, you know, uh, place, they're just helping each other out by cleaning and doing something, getting their uh, armaments cleaned or whatever, and accidentally got a gunshot. Would we say that, that 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 action never happened? Can we say that there's no bullet came out? Yeah, it did came out, but we, it did come out, but we wouldn't say that it came out because there was no intention behind it. So, would you say the action happened or not happened? For Imam Shafi, he would say the action didn't happen because there was no intention. Imam Abu Hanifa says, well, or the Hanafi says. No, it's actually that the action happened, but there's no reward with this. So that's a detail. There's a lot of argument on both sides, but I wouldn't suggest that people should go into that detail. But as a sunnah, we should all follow this. We should all make intention of doing wudu. And this is what everyone does. Now, you would not find any Hanafi, perhaps, who does their wudu with only these four faraib. They do not do like, you know, they do not wash their hands, they do not clean their nose, they do not gargle, these are all sunnah, so leave them aside, they do not say bismillah. No, they do all of that. So this is just academic discussion. That if you are in dire situation, and you only needed to just, you know, do your faraid to join the prayer, janazah or other Eid prayer, for example, you can do it. In Hanafi school, your wudu is still valid. You were coming to the masjid, you planned to do wudu, but there was, it started raining and you wash yourself very nicely all around, then your wudu is done. You're going to still pray with that. Now, obviously, you would not be rewarded for that, but that does not mean that your prayer is invalid. The prayer is still fine because wudu is there. So that's just academic discussion between the imams. Inshallah, there's much more detail on both sides, the rebuttal and battles and, you know, this argument and the counter-arguments. But I don't suggest that people should go into that, inshallah. And there's no disrespect to any of the imams. They have very good reasons to believe one or the other view, inshallah. May Allah give us tawfiq to understand.